I'm gonna tell you how I save up my first 50 to 100K. So I was making 3,000 a month from cutting hair and 4,000 from the army, but I would live off of 3,000 and save four. So I was saving 4,000 a month, but I had to live below my means for a year. So my first 50 came quick because I also was investing my haircut money. So you need cash flow first and then you need to invest that cash flow. So that's all I did. After 12 months, I got $50,000. So it took me a year to save 50K and I turned that 50K into millions. This is before I even had an Instagram. As I have this money saved, that's when I started to leverage it to use my brand. Yeah, first man hand rub. Fourth quarter, man. We finna take it up a notch with this investing to end the year. Less than 90 days. 2024, we taking it to 10K, man. We going from the block to the clock. And from the clock to the stocks, we market track. Zero. Bitch, I'm a pop my shit, yeah, I'm pop my shit. Nigga been having you ain't got like this, young nigga be hey, you ain't got like this. Pop my shit, pop my shit, pop my shit. Two thousand dollar on key, yeah, I just flooded my collar, my wrist. Zia, it's your boy Drapacino, and you are now market traffic. Yeah, make sure y'all hit that like, share, subscribe, notification bell. Do that for your boy, man. It's another week. We in the fourth quarter, and we still on the 200 to the 10K challenge. But you can start with 50 bucks like we did for the YouTube portfolio. Now, first off, you know what we do when we do what we do each and every week. The first two do you. Sorry. Too many warm up. Oh, we got guap now. We got guap now. We got chop down. Yeah. Chop out, tell that nigga rock down. Talking out of nation with that guap First two, do you? Used to be broke, we got guap now. We got chop down. Yeah. Let's get the frequency up. Get the mother vibration right. Yeah. Whatever you do to get your first two, do you. 200 to the 10K challenge. Start with 50. Yeah, that's all you got to do. A little bit add up to a lot. Used to be broke, but now we got guap. 23, we free. Savage invest. Stocks, asset, value. Always grind every day. Savage. Let's go. I'm gonna spend something. Gotta spend something, man. Stack, 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 save, 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 invest. Yeah. Yeah. RP Bob Proctor. Go do your homework. Yeah. For sure, we used to be broke. We got guap now. Market trash. First two, do you? Zio, we back, we back, we back. Y'all already know we trap, trap. Trapping another week each and every Thursday, man. Y'all know how we do. Your boy Drabertino back in effect, feeling a little better from the dental surgery. You know what I'm saying? And this week, I ain't doing too much talking again because I got the me and that mentors checking in, letting us know what's up with this fourth quarter. And y'all know we still on the 200 to the 10k challenge, but you can start with 50 bucks like we did for the YouTube portfolio, man. You know what I'm saying? On our way to that, like, 23, 2400, I'm going to show the portfolio close to the end of the year because I want y'all to see how we took it from 50 bucks all the way to the end of the year, man. You feel me? But with that being said, the me and their mentors, they checking in, man. They letting us know what they doing. I'm going to let y'all know what we doing. You feel me? Because I pay to play, but I bring it to y'all for the free. You know what I'm saying? They give me the game like I give y'all. OG. Just offering game. And with that being said, look, rest of the year, man, I'm going to up it up a notch. Instead of the 50 a week, I'm going 100 a week. You feel me? And the whole 2024, we're doing 100 a week. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get to the 10K before the end of 2024. And then from there, you know what we're doing. But before it get better, 
it's gonna get ugly. That's why I got the me and their mentors checking in, man. They straight, but they letting us know, they letting us know the plays. You know what I'm saying? We got a cheat code. They letting us know the plays. I'm no financial advisor. I'm just OG offering game. And with that being said, let's check out the first millionaire mentor and what he on, man. Holla back. In good times and bad times, our whole financial system is based on protecting the 1%, protecting the high income individuals, while the middle income and the low income suffer. Let's change that. Let's start redirecting our dollars into assets. Let's get our financial house in order. And if we do that, we, ain't have to, we don't have to worry about inflation. We don't have to worry about the Fed saying we have a weak balance sheet. No, we won't have a weak balance sheet. We'll have a strong balance sheet if we can build assets that create passive income. Yeah, yeah. You're talking that talk, man. Pay attention, listen and learn. You saw the post, feel me? Listen and learn. We market track each and every Thursday. But hold up, I got some more game for you. Peep it. 2023, $1,000 a week. And then 52 weeks of 2024, $1,000 a week. And then we're gonna take us, we're gonna, we're gonna track it all through the rest of 2023. And then we'll track it through 2024. And then I'll make a decision. Do I wanna continue? Or do I just, do I want to do something different? We'll, 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 we'll take a look. Now, like I've always told you guys, at least this is the way I do it. I always have a goal. I always have a goal, right? I always have a goal anytime I invest money. Not pretty. What am I talking about? Leading economic indicators. We see recession most likely in, four, uh, in uh, Q1, Q2, Q3 of 2024. If that's the case, and we see government spending out of control, we see the feds having to get rates higher and higher, that chance for a soft landing is just about gone. And so when the Fed has to overdo it, they're going to overdo it because they've already said it in front of Congress that inflation is their main thing that they need to beat back because it affects everyone. And if that means a little bit of pain short term, i.e., in my opinion, they meant a recession. That's something they can deal with because they've been able to get out of that quickly. It's how you how do you slow down this freight train called the U.S. economy uh, to get inflation under control? Well, they're doing it. They're scaring the public. And I want to say this publicly. When the Federal Reserve starts cutting interest rates, then the economy will slowly start to improve. And when that happens, I'm not going to give praise to the Federal Reserve. I don't think you should either. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but not me. They're not gonna get a thank you from me because they are fixing a problem that they created. And it's not truly fixing the problem because the damage that they've already done, it's gonna be everlasting. They've put Americans through the worst inflation in 40 years, and there's been a sharp increase in the price of food, fuel, and shelter. And right now, the remedy, which is higher interest rates, has made home affordability even worse. And the cost of financing, we're talking about everything from auto loans to credit cards. It's just gone through the roof. If anyone deserves praise, and this is my opinion, it is the American people for suffering and enduring through the bad decisions of central bankers. I'm gonna keep you updated going to the November 1st FOMC meeting. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything for you. I'm just gonna tell it to you like it is. Birdman hand roll to that, feel me? Pop the collar, savage investing, stocks, asset, value, always grind every day. You know what I'm saying? You market traffic. Just gave y'all that game, that free game, man. Like my boy Session CA say, I'm the black Indiana Jones dropping jewels around here. You feel me? So it really ain't nothing else to say. Y'all know how we do. We going from the block to the clock. And from the clock to the stocks, we market traffic. Zia. Oh yeah, go learn something. I'm gonna tell you like the OG always told me. He say, hey, you better live every day like it's your last. Cause one day, you gonna be right. Zia. Pop my shit, I'm pop my shit, yeah, I'm pop my shit. Nigga been having, you ain't got like this. Young nigga be hating, you ain't got like this. Pop my shit.
shit. Pop my shit. Pop my shit. Two thousand dollars on key. Yeah, I just flooded my collar, my wrist.